<laughs> My boyfriend just arrived. <laughs> the American Abroad. I am so sorry that I didn't post a video last Sunday. I decided to take an impromptu break for a week because I actually started a new course this week and this course has been a little different because I'm actually auditing it so I'm just getting used to what it's like to audit a course because I've never done it before. Another reason is I had absolutely no time this week to film a video and actually sit down so this is actually the first time that I'm getting to sit down and do this for you guys. The third reason is it is currently 3.48 right now and the sun is already setting. The sun has started setting earlier in Germany so I'm not used to coming home and having the sun already starting to set. Is that English? Perhaps. So hopefully I'll be able to adapt to that so I can start making more videos more regularly of course. Today I thought that I would talk about the German healthcare system because it is something that I have been dealing with for the past two weeks. Recently, I actually started having some wisdom teeth pain. It's been something that I've been dealing with for the past six years now. It started right around my freshman year of high school. My jaw would often lock up to the point that I couldn't open it and I couldn't speak until I actually popped it. So I've been dealing with a lot of pressure in this region in terms of the teeth coming in and the teeth pushing on the rest of my teeth. And so far the pressure and the pain has not been as bad as it had in the first two years, I would say but the pressure has resurfaced as of now. And y'all, to be frank, I am absolutely ready to get them out. It was actually suggested to me to get them out before I even left for Germany. However, I had that dentist appointment around two weeks before I was actually set to leave. However, we made the decision not to go get the procedure done because getting an appointment at an oral surgeon is very difficult to do in such a short span of time. So my mom and I, we decided that once I came back to the States that I would get the procedure done. I recently visited a dentist here in Lüneburg because I woke up one night with this very, very, very uncomfortable pressure in my mouth. And it's not something that I'm entirely new to, it's just something that I was not expecting. So I scheduled an appointment at a local dentist office here and decided to just kind of go there, maybe get x-rays and check it out. To my surprise, x-rays were completely free. Um, generally, when I go get x-rays done in the US, which is pretty much every time that I visit the dentist's office, those x-rays tend to cost between maybe five and seven hundred dollars, depending on how many x-rays they take. I believe that was the last x-ray bill that I got when I did my last appointment in August. But I went there, got my consultation, got my x-rays done, and the dentist pulled the x-rays up, and sure enough, my wisdom teeth are impacted and really pushing on all of my teeth right now. So I was suggested to a couple of oral surgeons here in town just to get a consultation there so that I can get them extracted. Oral surgery in general is something that really makes me nervous. I get a lot of anxiety about it because it's it's scary for me to think about being put under and having somebody completely take my teeth out. I get anxiety about going to the dentist in general. I don't know why, it's just been something that I've always been nervous about doing. Maybe it's because I've always associated the dentist with pain. That's probably what it is. Normally I would be cringing because the price of oral surgery in the US is tremendously high. And for this procedure, particularly with the health insurance that I have, I fully anticipated only minimum coverage here in Germany for my oral surgery. However, I've never been so happy to get oral surgery or any kind of surgery in my life because here in Germany, as I have been told, with my insurance, it will be 100% covered to get my wisdom teeth extracted here. To me, that is completely insane. I never anticipated something like that to happen because this procedure in the US would cost me around or over $5,000 to actually get my wisdom teeth extracted. And right now, I only have two wisdom teeth. That's $5,000 for two wisdom teeth to get pulled. If I had four, it may be even more, maybe up to 8,000. So because of that great news, I actually am on the road to getting my wisdom teeth extracted. And today I wanted to share the information that I know and I have researched about the German healthcare system. Now Germany runs on kind of a universal healthcare system that is set up similarly to the US and to the UK healthcare system. Now most Americans who are against universal healthcare often see the cons to it rather than the benefits of it. Many see it as too much government intervention in terms of their health care and that they should be able to choose the health care that they want and the health care providers should be able to run 
privately and not as a public system. And many see the system as not being able to provide equal healthcare services to all citizens and as well as not being able to provide sufficient healthcare services. Now, healthcare is something that I do not take for granted, mainly because for a portion of my childhood, I was not insured by the party who was legally required to insure me. The other party that was not legally required to provide me healthcare still provided the financial support to take me to any kind of medical treatments or medical visits, even when they were not legally required to. As of my history, I do fully support universal health care because I believe that everyone is entitled to health care no matter where they come from, what their background is, their culture, how much money they make, or even their medical history. I don't think that those should be factors in terms of health care coverage and the ability to receive health care. I believe it is 100% a human right to be provided equal health care opportunities because the idea of allowing ourselves to let people continuously stay sick and not receive the treatment that they need. To me, that is not morally correct. We as a nation need to do better in terms of taking care of our own people. That to me is one of the largest complaints that I have about the US healthcare system. But for the most part, the healthcare opportunities that we do have in the US are good. I just wish that everybody had an equal opportunity to receive it. But all politics aside, I really want to focus on Germany and its healthcare system. Germany is actually known for having one of the best healthcare systems in the world currently. It is actually financed by a mixture of both premiums paid by insured employees and premiums paid by their employers rather than from tax revenue, etc. Almost 100% of the population here is covered because it is legally required to be insured in Germany. You have to at least be insured to receive hospital and medical checkups if you are living in Germany. Out of the entire population in terms of German citizens, Germany residents that can include EU or non-EU residents, anybody who is here on a work contract or work visa, any immigrants, etc. 85% of the population is covered by public health insurance. However, the other 15% are insured privately. There are three options for health insurance that you can choose in Germany. Now, before I go into them, I do want to clarify that free health care, as it is portrayed in the US, does not always mean free health insurance. It truly only means that there are no upfront costs for certain treatments that are generally covered within your health insurance. So the first option of health insurance is statutory health care. In order to be eligible to receive this health care, you have to earn less than 57,000 euro per year. Now, because a large majority of the population here in Germany are covered under the statutory health care, this is what we would consider universal health care in the US. Everybody has mostly the same coverage depending on which company you are insured under. Being insured under statutory health care comes with a little bit of longer wait times, but it is very comparable to being insured by private health insurance in the US. Statutory health care is accepted in most cases almost everywhere unless the doctor specifically specifies that they only accept and treat the privately insured. However, everyone that is insured under statutory health care is guaranteed the equal right to receive equal care and treatment regardless of income or the premium that you currently pay for. Premiums here are based on income, so the rich help the poor, the healthy help the sick, the young help the old. Everyone benefits from the equal opportunity to receive free or inexpensive treatment. Statutory health care generally covers primary care, hospital treatment, both in and out of patient, and as well as basic dental treatment. However, if you earn above 57,000 euro per year, you are then eligible to be insured under private insurance. This is a completely optional form of health insurance and can be purchased, I guess, to replace the statutory health care or to be combined with the statutory health care. The benefits of this type of health care is, of course, shorter wait times because the privately insured are prioritized more than the statutorily insured or publicly insured, I guess. The third option that you can choose for your health insurance is getting help from your employer to pay for your health insurance as well. From what I understand, the percentage of the health insurance that is paid by your employer is often dependent on the employer, on where you work, whether you are a state or federal employee, or whether you work for a private company. I'm not entirely sure by doing this whether you have to pay for private or not. However, it is an option here. So the process, of course, for applying for health insurance is trying to figure out whether you are eligible for private health insurance or not. And depending on what you are eligible for will depend on which insurance company you can be insured with. So once you figure that out, you can pick an insurance company that fits your needs, whether it be financial or medical. For me, because I'm a study abroad student here, my program actually took care of that for me. So all that I had to do was sign contracts and give them my biometric pictures. From what I understand, if you are insured through statutory health care, you will receive a health care card. Now this health care card comes equipped with a photo of yourself so nobody can steal it, your name, your address, your date of birth, 
birth and as well as all of your health care, health treatment, and health insurance data. As you can see, this was my biometric picture. I just thought that I would immortalize it here on YouTube. It is a wonderful 90s mugshot with a lovely, um, what do we, what do we call this? A knot? Yep, I would call that a knot. So just enjoy that for a minute. And one last thing about the healthcare system here in Germany, in terms of financials, the average cost of health insurance here in Germany is around 3,600 euro per year. Whereas in the US, it can range between $5,000 and $13,000 per year, depending on whether you are paying for an individual, a family, and any kind of conditions, depending on your state and the insurance company that you want to be insured with. So that is all that I have on the healthcare system here in Germany. If you have any questions about it or are simply curious about my views, put a comment down below and I will make sure to respond to it as soon as possible. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and hit that bell so you can get notifications on when I post a new video. I hope you have a beautiful week and I will see you next Sunday. Bye guys.